What's up you guys? It's your girl India Simone and I'm back with another video. I hope everyone is doing well. So today I'm going to break down how I transform my hair from this to this. If you struggle with getting your hair bone straight, if you struggle with frizz, concerned about damage, or if you simply just wanna be able to save money on doing your own hair versus going to the shop every couple of weeks, stay tuned because I have some great tools for you. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do first is shampoo my hair. I'm going to use a Desert Essence Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo to clarify my scalp. And then I'm going to use the Desert Essence Lemon Tea Tree Conditioner as well. I enjoy using organic products on my skin. And so I love the Dr. Bronner's All-in-One Cleanser. I use it on my scalp to clarify as well. And the Carol's Daughters Wash Day Delight Jelly to Cream Conditioner is amazing for detangling and putting moisture back into your hair after you clarify it. So I really suggest it. I also use a massager on my scalp when I shampoo just to make sure the product gets in there. And I use a tangle teaser to detangle my hair with conditioner under water only. Hey guys, so I'm done washing my hair. What we're gonna do now is deep condition. I love this Badger Argon hair oil. It has jojoba and babaob oil in it as well. It's just so light and just feels so great on your scalp. You can use a generous amount. I tend to use a few pumps. I start at the front of my head and make sure that I just massage it throughout my scalp and then make sure to get some on the back of my head. Just, you know, use as much as you think your hair needs. Be generous with it because we're going to wash it out anyway. This is just a great treatment for your scalp, especially for the winter time to make sure that your hair stays moisturized while we are putting so much heat on it. So I also make sure to put some hair oil on my edges because we need to maintain those, honey. And I also make sure to put some on my kitchen areas and on the sides behind my ears as well. So after we're done with that, we're going to take this Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask that has Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil. I absolutely love this conditioner. It performs so well with my hair and I just find it really adds moisture back into my hair before I straighten it. So I'm going to separate my hair into two as you just saw me do. And then we're just going to take some conditioner and starting from the top, just run a generous amount just throughout the entire side section of my hair. So once we do that, we are going to further split into two pieces and focus on the quadrants of my hair. So I just clip half of it up and then I take some more of that conditioner and working from the top to the bottom, make sure that I get the entire section of my hair. As you see, I'm just making sure that I've gotten the middle. I'm taking my hair and just sectioning it piece by piece just to make sure that conditioner is going throughout my entire hair because when your hair is thick, you just really want to make sure that all of your hair is getting the treatment so that you can prevent damage as much as possible. So then I take the top section and I do the same thing to that as I did to the bottom, just making sure to work that product in throughout that entire section. with that i'm going to take the shea moisture hydrate and repair protein power treatment i absolutely love this product to put on the ends of my hair it is pretty much made for that purpose to put on the ends of your hair and the parts of your hair that need that extra boost especially when you put heat on your hair my hair has taken well to this and so i really suggest it i'm also going to add a little bit of it to the front of my hair just to make sure that I am just well maintaining it before I put heat on it. So then we're going to take the tangle teaser and just starting 
from the front of my hair to the back. Just make sure that all that product is in there. Working our way through. Since I already detangled in the shower, this part is pretty easy. And we're just wanting to make sure that all that product is throughout my hair. Once I'm done with that, I pretty much just put my hair in a bun just to separate it from the other side so I can work on the other side. So once I have this up, I'm going to take this water bottle to the other side just because while I was doing that other side, it became a little dry. Deep conditioner is going to work best with more damp, wetter hair. So I'm just running this water bottle throughout that section so that I can just work the deep conditioner easily through it and make sure that it is fully detangled. So I'm just gonna treat this side the same way that I did the other side and fast forward through this and I will catch you guys once this is done. So once that is done, I'm just going to take all my hair, just make sure all the conditioners do it. And then I take a scrunchie and put my hair up into a bun and prepare to sit under the hair dryer. So I have this Andis hair dryer I got from the beauty store a long time ago. I love it because it's compact, has a hose and bonnet attachment. So I normally sit under here for 30 minutes if it's on high and low an hour. I'm going to do that and then wash it out and I will be back to show you how I blow dry. So I'm back after deep conditioning and washing it out. As you see, I am sectioning my hair down the middle and then I'm going to further section in two fours. So you see, I'm just gonna put half of it up like I did similarly with putting the deep conditioner in, wrapping it up so it's out the way. My hair did dry a little bit while I had it on a towel. So I'm just going to add some moisture back into my hair. You pretty much never want to blow dry your hair when it's not damp. That is definitely going to make your hair have some breakage. So if you need to add some water back into your hair and then you see I'm just going to further section it into fours again. So then I'm gonna take this Chi Silk Infusion, which is a heat protectant. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna take a small amount and put it on the fourth quadrant of my hair and then take my wide tooth comb, working from the bottom to the top and just make sure that it is completely detangled. It shouldn't be that tangled, but you definitely wanna make sure you don't skip this step because this will just prevent more leave out and breakage as you blow dry. So the blow dryer I love is a Revlon brush blow dryer. And unfortunately you can't change the uh, heat setting, but I find that it is the perfect heat for my hair, not too cold, not too hot. And I put it on high and use a tension method as you see, which is basically holding onto your hair and pulling it straight as you blow dry. I work through slowly, making sure that I hit every strand to straighten it as much as possible so that I have less work to do with the actual flat iron. So I'm just gonna continue this and fast forward through each section.
once I'm done blow drying, I just take all of my hair down and quickly blow dry through once more all of it just to make sure that it's all dry. I don't have any part that I missed. A lot of the times I'll have to go back and redo the top of my head because it's just so thick up there that just want to make sure that it is as straight as possible, which again will make the process easier. So then I just comb through and apply this argon oil to my hair. It is an organic argon oil from Trader Joe's. Again, I love argon oil because it's super lightweight. So I just take a little bit into my hands, not too much, and I just make sure to work it through my scalp. Again, this is just helpful for me because I do suffer from dry scalp during the winter months especially. So this just makes sure that my hair is well moisturized and prepared for straightening. So after I do that, I'm going to put my hair up in a bun for a little while. I don't like to go straight into straightening. I like to make sure that my scalp is all the way dry. So I'll just put it up and go run errands for a little while. Plus, my arms are tired from all of that blow drying. So your girl needs an arm break. So I'm going to run errands and be back to show you the straightening process. Hey guys, so I'm back for the straightening process. What I'm going to do is separate my hair into two pieces and then further separate it into four quadrants with the two just tied up at the top and then I leave the back fully out. By doing it this way it just helps me to keep the hair out of my face, helps me to be as efficient as possible with making sure that I am hitting every single strand of my hair so that I therefore am not having to go back and re-straighten and re-straighten and cause damage to my hair. So once I have the front two parts separated, I'm going to comb through the back and then separate that into smaller sections. You wanna break that down into smaller sections so that you can make sure you're hitting every single strand when you straighten and therefore don't have to go back over and over again and cause your hair to be damaged. So for this process, I use both a small tooth comb and I use a medium to hard bristle brush to make sure that I don't have any coils left up in there while I'm straightening. And I just find that it also helps it to be smooth and silky and have that silk press look. So I encourage you to also use this, especially if it's your first time and you're so working on training your hair to be straight. So from here, I'm going to break it down into even smaller sections because again, the smaller the section, the straighter your hair is gonna be, which means that you don't have to go over your hair again. I use a Remington flat iron, nothing fancy. I put it on 450 and we're gonna start. So I start at the top of my head and work my way down. I use either the bristle brush or the comb to guide it through just to make sure it's getting that silky press feel. And then I'm just going to repeat that same process with every single strand of my hair. So as you see, I'm working from the back. It's easier for me to work from the back first. And as you see here, I'm guiding my hair through with the brush and then just repeating. So I'm going to continue that throughout the entire back portion. And then I will be back to show you the top.
is what it looks like from the back once you're done with that portion. Look how silky and smooth it is. I'm just combing through it just to make sure. Oh, there's nothing like the first day of straight hair. It's literally the best, and I swear by this process. So now it's time to work on the front. The front's gonna be less work on your arms because you don't have to do so much reaching. So when I do the front, I pretty much separate it the same way that I do the back, but I work from the sides. So I'll separate the side into smaller sections and just like I did the back, work through with that brush and make sure that it's silky smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Once you're done finally straightening your hair, what I like to do is put argon oil back onto my strands. For me, it just helps my hair to not look so staticky, how it does sometimes after a silk press, and it just has that smoothness to it, a little bit of a little bit of shine to it. So that's a personal preference, and you could skip this all the way if you prefer. So these are the results. My hair is sleek and shiny and healthy. You don't have any secret curls hiding in there. I just absolutely love this process. So yeah, that is my straight hair tutorial. I hope that this was helpful. If you found it helpful and you would like more hair tips, please comment below. I would love to offer some more suggestions and please don't forget to hit that subscribe notification bell so you see when I have new videos posted. As for now, I hope you guys have a good evening and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.